Welcome to another High Future YouTube uh, channel video. Today, in with this uh, short tutorial, I will show you how to install SSL security uh, certificate. So your website will have uh, security protection. So entering username and password, it will not go like a plain text and nobody will be able to steal it. First, we have to log in in your um, web hosting control panel. I will show you just for a few seconds where is the place where you can order SSL certificates. This is my domain, SSL certificates. But the goal here in this video will be not to purchase SSL certificate, is to use a free SSL certificate. So this is the place when you click uh, get a new SSL certificate and clicking on this link, you just have to follow application form and uh, you'll be able to purchase a security SSL certificate. So if you see on the top, HTTPS means that this website has been secured. So every single uh, click or uh, every single uh, transaction or web page which I'm loading or sending it's encrypted, nobody on the internet can read it. So now, what about, you don't want to pay, you want to use a free SSL certificate uh, just for your testing, for example. For that reason, we can go to one of our uh, domains and that's the place where actually you can use a certificate which belongs to the web hosting provider and it's a self-signed certificate for your domain. Okay. For example, we have learned how to do. We have many uh, subdomains, uh, domain website, uh, uh, shop.learnhowtodo, uh, we have a blog learn how to do. So for each one of them, you have options to create uh, security. Just to give you an example, our shop require, like every single shop, shop.learnhowtodo.com, to be encrypted. So your client, when they're coming to pay, their payment transaction will not uh, be uh, readable by everyone on the internet who's trying to spy your connections or their connections. So if I try to do security, connection HTTPS when I'm trying to connect the website will not load at all because we're missing the security certificate so I'll stop it's not need to, to continue uh, trying okay so let's go back to our control panel so in our control panel, we decide, okay, we're working with the shops and here in this uh, gear uh, icon, have edit subdomain. Clicking on this edit subdomain, inside of the IP address, you have options for available shared IP SSL or on the bottom directly secure socket layer SSL do not use SSL you actually clicking generate self sign SSL certificate if you click this one your shop.learnhowtodo.com will generate certificate for this particular domain and subdomain name I'll click edit host Edit host, uh, and I forgot to select the IP. I just showed it you before, but forgot. Here it is. I'm selecting available shared IP for SSL, and here is generate self signed SSL certificate. Edit host. Okay, great. Now, this shop dot learn how to do. If you see on the right side, 
under SSL column you have this icon. There is already an SSL certificate installed by this domain. This is everything what you have to do. It's a free and extremely fast. Now, by experience, if uh, you activate your self sign it SSL, I found it sometimes takes like a, a few hours before the certificate actually uh, get enforced. So if I try to to contact uh, my website via HTTPS security connection right away after I activate it, it might not work. Here it is. It uh, took around uh, maybe less than 10 minutes. And uh, when I try to go to HTTPS shop.learnhowtodo.com saying your connection is not secure if I click advanced I have this certificate is not paid particular for shop learn how to do it's a self sign it and uh, we said yeah it's a self sign it this is what we ask so just have to click add exception confirm security exception this is in Firefox and when we acknowledge this, this security certificate actually we know that it is a self sign it will load the page I am logging in my uh, PrestaShop um, admin panel and in the preferences in general you have options to enable SSL so I am clicking yes please enable SSL we just enable it so Yes, I am enabling uh, the certificate. I'm clicking save. After I save the SSL, my options for enable SSL on all pages become active. So I clicked add, yes, enable, and I clicked saved again. So now I enable SSL on all pages from admin panel of uh, PrestaShop. I'll go back to uh, my store. I'll click refresh. For the moment, uh, it's not secured. How you can see, don't have the small locker. And after refreshing, the website automatically send me to HTTPS which is already have uh, uh, th this lock uh, and now all connection is encrypted so if I click sign in or go into the shopping cart everything is protected you can test you can play whenever you are ready and you think oh I my store is completely ready to take a customer or payment you can go to your web hosting and pay for SSL certificate which will remove this small triangle and they will never asking for exception to accept it so the people will work like a Google Hotmail or, or whatever a big website which uh, naturally are encrypted this is everything how you can uh, add the uh, SSL uh, certificate and uh, most important self-sign free SSL certificate to your website. Thank you very much uh, to watching this uh, uh, video in Have Future YouTube channel. Goodbye.